want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Happy, what is today? Tuesday. Uh, we're just watching AG Bar. Uh, what a clown show this is. Uh, so I actually have a Diet Coke with me because you need to get your Diet Coke and you need to get your popcorn. It is uh, truly uh, amazing times. Uh, this is probably the most intense hearing I have ever seen. Uh, the anger level, the hate level, there is no middle America anymore. The, the whole thing is divided, uh, completely divided. And uh, they, they bring him in to testify, but yet they don't want him to testify. They don't want him to talk. You see the hatred. This is not healthy hatred. Anybody think this type of hatred is normal, uh, we're in a, a world of trouble. They are frantic. They are in panic. Uh, they know the honey badger is bringing the hammer, uh, and he knows he's bringing the hammer too. We are told uh, today that uh, a major, major hammer could drop this week. Uh, the other things are being told that major things will be brought out in the September time frame, but there should be something fascinating hitting this week. You know that with Barr going on today, uh, something's coming behind this, so... Um, we got to watch it. So today, Monday or Tuesday, July 28th, the seventh of Av on the year 5,780 on the Hebrew calendar. Remember, two more days is the ninth of Av. Ninth of, ninth of Av is sackcloth and ashes. We have to watch the Hebrew calendar because there's a lot of prophetic words are coming around the time of the Hebrew calendar. God always works around his, his, his Hebrew festivals. We're going to talk about that in the end. So let's get into it. We see social media. Uh, really targeting uh, many different people uh, just today. Uh, so we'll get into that. Facebook, G Google, Twitter, YouTube, censoring the doctors of the 319 uh, at the press conference that they were doing at Capitol Hill. Uh, somebody said there was over 600,000 shares and 16 million views of those doctors telling the truth. We do have a new code. Uh, because the censorness of a certain code, hydroxy, I'm not going to say the word because it is triggering people, literally. Uh, Don, Don Jr. has been cut off Twitter for using this word. And also Sidney Powell. Uh, you don't mess with Sidney Powell. <laughs> that's just suicide. And that's what Twitter did yesterday. So the new nickname that we're going to call it, as we call it the 343, is the 8317. I'm gonna have, it's going to be hard for me to remember that. 8317. So when we say 8317, you'll know what we're talking about. That's right, Doug. HCQ. They knew it all along. Many, many more doctors are coming forward. They've had it. They're coming out with the truth. We've had it, we've had it all along. Uh, matter of fact, we're working on two, actually three, three doctors, three experts in the field with... Uh, with uh, the 319 and also the uh, 8317, uh, so that we may have them on to tell you the truth. Not, not many people are telling the truth. They're coming forward and telling the truth. So as we said, Twitter suspended Sydney, Sydney Powell uh, for, for tw tweeting, make, uh, make, it, make the uh, hydroxy the, uh, over the counter. She didn't make that up by mistake. Uh, we are told, remember we've been saying that for a while, that there is going to be an executive order coming to make it over the counter. Uh, so many are saying that now and uh, it's starting to spread. All right, so, uh, so Don Jr. was also suspended as well from Twitter. I still believe that at Jack is behind this, obviously behind this, but behind this as, a, as working for the White Hats you just you you just use logical. If you are running a platform like Twitter, why would you shoot yourself in the foot like that? You know you're bringing on antitrust. You know you're going to bring on lawsuits. Uh, so there's more to this. Remember, the the, the social media giants are going to be dealt with. Remember, uh, Project Veritas caught Facebook uh, in in a bad position yesterday. Also, uh, but Matt Gates has sent a criminal referral. I'm Mark Zuckerberg. It's starting to heat up. Remember, I believe the antitrust starts tomorrow uh, with Google. So we are seeing fascinating times. Uh, Dr. Fauci making the news again, fake news. Uh, 
He still he went on Criminal News Network and was saying negative things against the 8317. Uh, the guy continues his lies. President Trump called him out in a tweet and saying that he's misleading the American people. And Fauci fought back and said, I'm not misleading the American people. Yeah. People have woken up to Dr. Uh, Fauci. Uh, still battle. Uh, there's still a battle that lies ahead with all this. New Jersey uh, gym owner. He was been on Tucker Carlson many times. He was on Tucker Carlson again last night. As soon as they opened at like 5 a.m. yesterday, they were he was handcuffed. Him and his partner put in uh, put in put in jail. He was let out for opening his gym. And yet, the governor of New Jersey, as the governor of North, uh, of um, New York, as well, Cuomo. We got more to talk about with Cuomo. Uh, sent people to their deaths in nursing homes. It's time for people to step up and stand up to our constitutional rights. And uh, we mentioned this before. It's time for uh, lawyers out there. We mentioned that before. There, I, I knew that there were several lawyers uh, that wanted to come forward and uh, do some pro bono work on our, our constitutional, uh, our constitutional uh, rights being held back. If those lawyers will come to His Glory, info at hisglory.me, uh, we, need, we need to get attention of those lawyers. I saw them on Twitter, and they, we were in... Uh, they copied this on a couple of them, but I don't remember the names. So if you are a lawyer and you want to fight this, uh, it's time to make uh, lawsuits against this unconstitutional. It's time to fight back through the schools, through the mask, and also through uh, the unconstitutional shutdown. Uh, so please, please get with us. So that was a New Jersey go a gym owner. He said he's going to continue to fight it and fight it and fight it. And uh, that's what we need to do. We need to fight. This is a more awakening on teachers and the teachers union, keeping kids on lockdown. Uh, I heard some information about the local school district here yesterday. Mrs. Glory was telling me about that. And ah, blood pressure went up. It's just insane. It is just absolutely insane what they're trying to do. And the teachers and the teachers unions are still getting paid. President Trump again came out and said, and more people are saying, if the school will not open up or are going to hold my kids down, whether mask or restrictions. The restrictions they're talking about here locally are insane. Uh, and parents, are, parents have said enough. Not only are they going to homeschool, we saw on Martha McCallum yesterday that the Catholic school system, Catholic enrollment for Catholic schools is going way up uh, because of this, because people want to get out of this, this, this uh, school system uh, that is being, being controlled by the teachers' unions. You know, if you are working for a corporation, and the 319 caused you to lose your job. You're not getting paid from that corporation. But the teachers unions are still paying the teachers. Pretty good gig. You get paid if you don't even go back. This is why there's an outcry like I have never seen in my lifetime about vouchers, fighting. Somebody needs to start placing some lawsuits against schools, uh, public schools and the unions about taxpayer dollars being forced to go to these schools. It's time. That's why the lawyers, reach out lawyers, is sometimes a good civil lawsuit and class action lawsuits are the best way to go. Remember that was a Q drop way back. Class action lawsuits can be very helpful. Greece, Greece is not the word, the city or the country of Greece. This is how bad we're trying to get. We're in the, we're in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, the days of Lot. Greece declares pedophilia uh, as, a, as a disability. And they want to have people that, are, that have the disability of pedophilia to be, uh, get state benefits. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, making this a disability. See, it has all been attacking the school system through f fake news media, the Mockingbird. They continue each day. You see the, you see the videos. Uh, somewhat peaceful protest. You go to another station, somewhat. They're talking off the same words, literally. That's Project Mockingbird. Uh, and they've dumbed us down through Hollywood and our school system and the media. It's time to stand up and get our, 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 our rights back. Enough is enough, and people have had it. Uh, there was a um, picture of Jerry Nadler uh, not wearing his mask. And then we, if you saw the, the, the AG Barr testimony uh, just a little bit ago, he had the audacity, uh, Nadler, the penguin, to attack Jim Jordan and two other Republicans because they weren't wearing their mask. And then 
we, we were watching this before we went live, and there was a camera view on the penguin, and he wasn't talking, and he wasn't wearing his mask. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. I would have wondered what somebody would have said if they said, you know what, Jerry? I'm not going to wear my mask. I'm not going to wear my mask. I'm drinking my coffee. I'm not wearing my mask. Um, Jerry Nadler says Antifa is a myth. He's been called out on this. I don't know what planet he lives on, but I'm telling you, this is not about politics anymore. This is not about Democrat. This is not about Republican. This is about pure evil. The man radiates evil. And if anybody thinks he doesn't, they need to wake up. And it's time for America to wake up to the truth. Why? They can continue to lie and lie and lie. Antifa is a myth? Come on. Uh, even he went too far with that, and that was called out. Nadler saying peaceful, these are peaceful protests. They are not peaceful protests. They're trying to set up A.G. Barr and this whole testimony. A.G. Barr is not going to fall for it. Uh, it's time for terpenes. You're going to need your terpenes because the pain is coming. Get your extreme terpenes on His Glory Family Partners. Uh, use His Glory at the checkout. You get 5% off. Uh, subscriptions, subscriptions, you get 10% off. Combine your Obey orders and your extreme terpenes. $45 more free shipping. And if it's the first order, you get a free Bible. And Vicky prays over that. Same as Chris and Jeanette with the Hebrews. Uh, Mrs. His Glory loves the chocolate uh, Hebrews. That's her favorite. All right, so uh, Nadler, uh, this is absolutely insane. Uh, watch it, watch it carefully. Valerie Jarrett was on Maria. Uh, she's cooked in the squat. She is absolutely cooked in the squat. Uh, she even, we're gonna get a comment of what she said to Maria. Maria should have asked, well, what, why Valerie Jarrett? Why were you, why did you, after the Obama administration, uh, get a house, did the Obamas get a house in Washington, D.C.? And why did you move in with them? Mm, shadow presidency, Operation Mockingbird, coup, treason, sedition. You know what? The trains left the station, and I, if I were Valerie, Mula, Jarrett, I would be very worried because they're going to be cooked in a squat. A uh, black Trump supporter was murdered uh, in Milwaukee. Nobody, where, where's, where's, the, where's the outrage for this? Nobody's talking about this. Shot and killed. No outrage, nothing. I thought Black Lives Matter. All black lives matter. Uh, just ordered some fudgy Hebrews. It's good stuff. Uh, it's good stuff. I think I like the vanilla the best, uh, but you can't go wrong with any of the flavors. Uh, Facebook caught, we said earlier, Project Veritas, Mark Zuckerberg was uh, referred to a, a criminal referral uh, lying to Congress. This is getting interesting and, and it's past interesting. This is getting to be the house of cards on social media. Remember, that was one of our prophetic words that we had two or three years ago, that the seven pillars of society, we named those seven pillars of society, and in, in social media is one of them. They're going to implode. They're all coming down, and they are coming down as we speak, and there will be a new remnant of social media coming out of that. Some will twist and, and go with what they're supposed to do. Some will go down uh, in trouble. Same with the media. Uh, you're seeing that happen right before our very eyes. The media will lie to you. That's why they say, we're the news now. Get your news source. Do your research because these people are lying to you and they've been lying to you for a long time. Just like 8317. 8317. Why would they lie? Dr. Samadhi said it best. Uh, if people would have taken 8317, there would have been a lot of lives spared. Why did they go so hard? And they're still, it was trending today on Twitter, 8317, because they're still going after it to say it doesn't work. Well, every doctor is coming forward and saying, you know what, enough. People's lives are on the, on the line. Um, Papadopoulos said that he was, there was five spies from four different countries that were spying on him while working uh, with Ben Carson and Donald Trump. Remember, Ben Carson was spied on as well. Every single member uh, that was running for president, uh, the 16 people that ran for president, uh, not just Donald Trump, were spied on by Brennan and Clapper and more. Uh, wait till they find out about Cruz, Ben Carson, and more. Remember one of the <clears throat> things that we said keep an eye on that is going to become big, 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 big news? It's actually one of the, one of the 17 scandals. It's unmasking. Uh, Bill Barr dropped a bombshell today. Well, it's a bombshell to a lot of people. It was a bombshell to Jim Jordan because Jim Jordan wasn't aware of it. 
If you think about this logically, it's probably not that big of a bombshell. You assume that he was probably doing this, but he told, uh, he told the world today that there is a U.S. attorney named John Bash out of Texas who is just solely looking at unmasking. Remember, Samantha Powers, the ambassador to the United Nations, unmasked 300 times. And then when you asked her why she unmasked, she said somebody else unmasked, un, unmasked uh, it wasn't her. Uh, it was also said by uh, Jim Jordan today that 38 people uh, unmasked General Flynn. 47 times General Flynn was unmasked by 38 different people. Seven times by the U.S. Treasury. That's General Flynn, a 33-year-old, 33-year general that put his life on the line for this country. If they can do it to General Flynn and they can do it to President Trump, you think they can't do it to us? And they are doing it to us enough. General Flynn's uh, is, 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 is going to be, uh, his, day, his days are not over. You're going to hear from General Flynn real quick. And we were in contact with somebody that knows General Flynn yesterday. So just maybe we'll have General Flynn on here. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Uh, with us having Roger Stone last week. Roger Stone was probably mentioned more times than any other person in this uh, uh, hearing with A.G. Barr. They just wouldn't let the Roger Stone. They thought that uh, the president let Roger Stone off because Roger Stone uh, was trying to hide Russia collusion. They even made up the stuff, uh, put words in Roger Stone's mouth. Roger Stone clearly said, I will not lie. They wanted him to lie and make up a story about Russia collusion on the president so he would get off. And he wouldn't do that. It's not that he was taking a secret to, to, uh, to his death or to prison. Uh, big difference there. Um, speaking of connections, uh, follow the money, follow the, the, the bouncing red balloon. Uh, Boris Nikoluk, he is a former advisor to Bill Gates, and he is the executor of Jeffrey Epstein's will. Wow. We're seeing more and more stuff happening with the will and lawsuits around Epstein, and they're, fine, and they're following the financial trail. We mentioned this yesterday with Deutsche, uh, Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Bank, uh, Deutsche Bank uh, with a bizarre judge, her son being killed. They find out that it was an intel source for Deutsche Bank and the C underscore A. Uh, Deutsche Bank has got a lot to hide. There's a lot of big banks that got a lot to hide, and the truth is going to come out. Uh, gold is going to trump them. Gold was almost at three, uh, almost at two thousand today. Uh, silver's going up. Silver's almost at twenty-five. And uh, gold is almost at 2,000. I'm told when the gold hits 2,000, away it goes. Perry Stone, uh, if many of you have been following his glory, uh, our take fives in our Bible studies, Perry Stone is uh, near and dear to my heart. Perry Stone is uh, the one that actually baptized me in the Holy Spirit. He has been on sabbatical for a while, and I understand how hard it is uh, when you do as much as Perry Stone has done, the spiritual attacks that you're under, the attacks, the attacks, the attacks, they wear on you. And sometimes you have to take, take it back and, and take a sabbatical. But Perry um, is doing well, and uh, he actually uh, brought out uh, some information that we put on Facebook today about how they're going to a cashless society, digital currency. Uh, remember, digital cur- that we have digital gold currency. Um, this is part of the beast system. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. Uh, we can't fret. We know it's going to happen. It's like saying, you know what? We don't want the book of Revelation to ever come. No, we do. What does Revelation mean? People get this mixed up or don't understand it. Revelation means revealing. Revealing what? It's revealing the Messiah. It's revealing the Christ. It's revealing the King of Kings, the Lord of hosts. We want that day to come. Yes, there's going to be trials and tribulations. Yes, there's going to be uh, bumpy rides. But we, 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 we know how it ends. And we have to pray for that. We have to stand together and we have to fight. Uh, I, I wish I could share a couple prophetic words that I was given. I'm told to keep them to the uh, keep them close to my chest until they're confirmed. But there are many people that are having very strong prophetic words uh, that it is going to get really, really bumpy. But light wins. Um, Amanda Grace is dealing with some sickness and some pain too. Everyone is. Uh, everyone is. Um, I had to go back to basics today to get myself back in shape as well. Get myself back in physical shape. And that's tough when you start getting back in physical shape. This was day one. Uh, not a fast, but to get my, 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 my body and mind uh, refreshed 
for the last part of what's going to happen. So we have to be fresh. Uh, speaking of Amanda Grace, she will be on. She, she emailed me this morning. Uh, I'm trying to remember. She will be on a week from Friday. So we'll have Amanda Grace a week from Friday. Remember, tomorrow is uh, Jonah Ritter. He's going to go over Jonah, the book of Jonah, the prophet Jonah. Um, and let's not be Jonas of the world. And uh, he'll explain that to you. And then uh, David Nino Rodriguez uh, will be on on Friday. And some other exciting guests. Uh, Cyrus Parza, by the way. Mr. President, you have to bring... I know there's people that are close to the president that watches his Glory TV. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Mr. President, you need to bring uh, Cyrus Parza on as soon as, you, as soon as you possibly can. He can help in many ways. Cyrus has been reaching out to me behind the scenes uh, just about every day since he's been on. Uh, he is eager to help the president uh, with this, uh, with it all, 5G, CCP, uh, the V, the all of it. He is uh, very, very sharp. All right, Cisco, uh, firing its employees uh, for coming out against the company's policy on Black Lives Matter. Remember, we named some of the Black Lives Matter. Again, let me just make this crystal clear. Black lives do matter. We're talking about the organization that has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. Because if they really had something to do with Black Lives Matter, they would be in Milwaukee bringing up that family of the black, uh, the, the black Trump supporter that was killed, or the police officer in St. Louis that uh, was protecting his business, killed, or the, the, the countless victims of, in, in uh, Chicago and all over places. Uh, this is about the Black Lives Matter tying the financials to Marxist organizations, to the Democratic Party, literally, and worse. And worse. That's why we have to wake up. I have to wake up. There's been a lot of pressure on Nike. There's a lot of pressure on the NBA. Uh, we have to continue that pressure. Remember, it's time that we stand up and make it uncomfortable for them. I don't remember who it was, but somebody said last night, I think it was on Tucker Carlson. I don't remember who the guest was, but he was right. He was spot on. He said, we can just sit back and take it, or we can make it. Un oh, it was, it was Greg Gutfeld uh, that was talking about this. He, he said, you, you, you got to boomerang back on it. Make it tough for them. Make it tough for them. And the more we make it tough for them, the more it's exposing what the truth is. Yes, black lives matter, but not the organization of, that is tied to Marxists. You just have to do a little bit of research. That's the most frustrating part. You just get a little black lives matter and you spin it out there and everybody just gets in this, this uh, frenzy because they think you're just talking about black lives matter. It's the foundation, research it. Uh, speaking of research, New York, Governor Cuomo is not is, is allowing MTV Music Awards, but he's not allowing the victims to come to a 9-11 to ring the bell like they do every year on 9-11. Uh, amazing. Uh, he's got some uh, bigger problems to deal with. The nursing home, it's coming back. Remember, Mike Pompeo warned him. He warned him before any of this China uh, 319 came. He said, we know you governors. We know what you did with China. Uh, it's coming back. It's coming back. More, uh, more information on the 343. Uh, it's going to come crashing down. I'm told the FDA may be approving 8317 any day soon. Um, let's see if they stall. Uh, my guess is still it's going to be approved over the counter sooner rather than later. Uh, how many people have to die just to take a medication? It's sad. It's sad. Speaking of being exposed, nitwit will be exposed. Um, my Michiganders, uh, how are we doing on getting the uh, James? Uh, I, I would love to get the Senate candidate James from Michigan on his glory. Uh, he's a sharp guy. I am being told from people in Michigan that the silent majority in Michigan is waking up and there's no way Joe Biden will win the state of Michigan. I hope that's true. Uh, because Michigan is a mess. Ohio's a mess, and we have a, a Republican governor. Just because you have a Republican in name doesn't mean they are on the good side. Speaking on the bad side, this where you, you just can't make this stuff up. Gavin Newsom, this was being reported by OAN o -A -N yesterday. We've heard the money trails of get, uh, Gavin Newsom in the past. Uh, there is charges of money laundering and not, uh, not accepting or not uh, declaring $3.7 million of a house that was gifted to him. And there's ties to the Gettys. 
you can't make this up. Remember the Getty Center that burned? What went on underneath the Getty Center will make anybody lose their lunch. These people are sick. And now the money is starting to come closer and closer and closer. So I would, I don't know where OAN left off with this, but there is uh, in, going to be an investigation of money laundering and uh, tax evasion. You get gifted $3.7 million in a house. You've got to declare that. Uh, you, can't get, you can't get away with that. All right, so that's another one. Keep an eye on that. Californians, I still have people that are telling me that, that California is going to go for President Trump. I think you're waking up the sleeping giant in California. There's going to be a great revival to the state of California. And we hope and we pray it starts when we're out there in California. We'll be out in California uh, almost a month away, September 7th to September 14th. Um, so we'll, we'll, see our, we'll see our His Glory family in the San Clemente area uh, in that time frame. If, if, um, if Biden is truly winning in the polls, why are they not stopping the riots? If Biden was truly running, winning in the polls, why would they have this clown show that we've been watching the way they do? The polls aren't right. They know they're not right. And one of them, one of the Democrats on here was just going full in on doing uh, paper ballots, sending paper ballots, and also going all in that President Trump would not, uh, would, not be, uh, would not accept the results of the election if he lost. I don't think he's going to lose. As a matter of fact, it's going to be landslide. And they know it. They know they can't stop it. And if it's a blowout, you really can't uh, cook the books. Uh, but we have, it's, it's, there's a long way to go. I've had a, a couple prayer warriors that are very nervous, that are in the prophetic, that President Trump uh, is not in good position right now. Uh, it's not where you're at right now. It's where you're at on November 3rd. That's the most important thing. God is in control. And the question is, you just watch the, the AG, AG right here. Uh, what, what kind of country do you want? Do you want the extremism of the far left radical? Or do you want the Constitution of the United States of America? Do you want violence and tearing up and destroying businesses and people, innocent people? Or do you want the rule of law? That's your choice. That's basically what it's calling down, light or dark. It is truly moved into two camps. There is no middle ground anymore. You have to choose, light or dark. And when these people spew their hatred, you can just see the venom of, of demonic coming out of them. It is absolutely sick. All right, uh, former NFL uh, quarterback Kaepernick and Dr. Fauci. Uh, this is another thing. You just can't make this stuff up. They are going to receive human rights awards. The question is, for what? For what? This is where we got. Dr. Fauci and Kaepernick getting human rights awards. Next thing you're going to do, they're going to give the Nobel Peace Prize to Obama. Oh, wait a minute. They did, and he didn't do anything. They gave him a Nobel Peace Prize before he even did anything, and he never did it. He can't make that stuff up either. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, her workplace is under investigation by Warner Media. Not a good day for Ellen. See, things are starting to tighten, 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 tighten. And soon there's nowhere to run. With that said, we're going to take a quick break and be right back. Obey's extreme terpenes incorporate all the vital components of the industrial hemp plant by sourcing organic ingredients from the flowers, seeds, and stalks of these God-given plants. All of our products meet or exceed the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill requirements. Obey is leading the way in restoring past remedies for essential solutions with clean and simple, natural, organic, healthy choices. Thank you for your support as it helps fund many of the His Glory Ministries Benevolence Projects. It's no secret that we live in the age of fake news. But it's time that we look to God for our sense of faith, our sense of knowledge, and our sense of direction. Join David Scarlett in his glory ministry as we spread the word of the Lord. Welcome back. You see our uh, Extreme Terpenes ad that came up. That's Vicky's voice on there. Uh, so we actually have Vicky's voice on there. Uh, good to hear Vicky's voice. All right. Um, 
Satan owns the fence. He certainly does. He owns the fence. We need to get off the fence. You're either all in or you're all out. Again, as Jesus said to the seven letters to the seven churches in the end days, we are in the last of the church age, the seventh of the, of, of the earth age. Seven is completion. We are in the church age of Laodicea. And Jesus said, you're neither hot nor cold. Uh, I will vomit you out of my mouth. You're lukewarm. Uh, so you need to be hot or cold. There's two different camps. You cannot be in the middle. There is no middle ground. There is no on the fence. You're either all in or you're all out. As simple as that. And uh, it's, it's done through our heart. And we have to participate. I keep going over this. I always carry this rock here. This rock, again, if you've been following, this is my go-to rock. This came from the Valley of Elah when we were on our Israel trip. And this is the, a similar rock that David used against Goliath. Now, David knew that the Most High God was blasphemed by Goliath. He knew that the vengeance was of the Lord and that God would, would stand up for his name. But David still had to get the five stones and take the shot. And that's what God is taking and telling us to do, to grab our stone, the rock, the word. And we may have to take the shot, the shot. We need to step up. All right, lawyers for Maxwell are trying to keep the X-rated evidence from going public. Oh, I imagine they are. They're not, though. Uh, it's the people that are involved in the x-ray uh, evidence that doesn't want to go. Remember who her attorney is. Follow that. Uh, it is all staged and it is all coming out. They're going to need a Beamer. Today, uh, I always forget how good the Beamer is. You can go to his Glory Family Partners to get, get your Beamer. Today was unique for me. Usually I'm, I'm, I'm uh, on my phone and answering uh, Intel questions or uh, text messaging while I'm on, uh, on the Beamer. And I'm not paying attention while I'm on the Beamer. But today, AG Barr was on, so I put my phone down and just listened and watched. And I felt the, the Beamer like, wow, I have to pay more attention. It was going through my eyes, my hands, my stomach. Uh, so get your Beamer. People, every single person that got the Beamer loves the Beamer. And I know there's been more purchases, recent purchases of Beamer, and people love it. All right, so get with Trudy, and uh, even if you can't get a Beamer, go to a place that has a Beamer. Try the Beamer. It is a game changer. Probably one of the best decisions I ever made. All right, Walgreens, CEO, to step down. Do you notice the CEOs and the CFOs are continuing to drop like flies? There is no coincidence. As the rabbis say, coincidence is not a kosher word. POTUS be, uh, bring on, uh, we already told POTUS about bringing on Cyrus Parsa, uh, Trump administration uh, sending more federal agents to Portland, even though the Mockingbird fake news says these are peaceful protests. Every channel, peaceful protest, somewhat peaceful protest. They, word for word. Coincidence? No. They are the enemy of the people. Never showing the truth. All you have to do is do a look, look a video. You know, like uh, Penguin Nadler. He didn't think that he would get called on it. He got called on it. What do you mean Antifa is a myth? Didn't you see the videos? They're all over the place. Uh, and he was rushed away into his car. The penguin escapes because the Batmobile uh, was right behind him. So don't listen to the criminal news, fake news. We have more and more guests that are coming on to show you the, uh, the corruption of the fake news and mainstream media. Now there are ways through technology that you can bypass these, these, these news sources and go to the truth. Uh, it is the echo, 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 echo. They like to hear their own voice. There's truly nothing new under the sun. Nancy Pelosi, follow the money, $6 million she made in Amazon stock. Hmm. How did Nancy Pelosi get so rich? She's been in, con she's been in Congress, what, 70 years? Uh, not that long, but a long time. Congress don't get rich like that. Uh, follow the money. China. China, China, China. Chuck Schumer should be a little bit worried about China as well. So should Mitch McConnell. I hope Mitch McConnell is cleaning his house and repenting. See, it's not all about Democrats uh, versus Republicans. There are bad Oreos and both. And they're being exposed and they will pay uh, the ultimate price. Uh, we said earlier that Maria had a Valerie uh, Mula Jarrett on. Uh, talking about the FBI Steele dossier, uh, that which was garbage. She said to Maria, she, uh, well, that was four years ago. Can't we focus in, uh, and, and focus on what's going on today? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> she's cooked as a squat. She doesn't want, oh, you know, we, we spied on our president. You know, we sent agents in there. We had 17 intel sources. Obama was personally involved in it. We know the FISA court was abused. We know the chief justice. Well, we don't know that. I know that. It's going to be coming out soon that Justice Roberts was behind it as well. Remember, the chief justice of the United States Supreme Court is responsible for the FISA. Uh, it's going to get really, 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 really ugly. That's why there will be many, uh, multiple Supreme Court justices uh, changed uh, fairly soon. Remember Amy Comey Barrett. Uh, she wanted to pass that on. Remember, there's five, actually we count them, seven different countries that spied on the president of the United States and his campaign. The five eyes, plus Germany and Tur Turkey as well. Turkey's no friend. Remember, Turkey is Golmar, Gomer in the Ezekiel 38 and 39 war. And that's exactly what's happening. Turkey is uh, g going anti-Israel, wants to destroy Israel. Uh, remember, look to Israel. Everything centers around Israel. Uh, his glory app. Many people have been asking about Roku and Apple TV. Uh, apparently on Apple TV and Roku, there was a glitch in our system and we've fixed that glitch, so you will be able to get your His Glory uh, TV streamed from those two sites. Uh, that should be fixed already. Uh, so I know I got many questions about Roku and Apple TV. You can get that. You can get our live stream on there. Easy for your donations. God bless you and your donations. Uh, you get the, the, your daily uh, devotional, and you can get into Bible, learning the Bible from our app. We're close to, I think we're just over 12,000 people have the app. So get the app today. Uh, you can take His Glory TV wherever you go. Um, Democrats, clown show, grandstanding, won't let Barr answer any questions. Uh, it is just pure evil. They are afraid. They are afraid. They're frantic. Uh, evil, evil, evil. Uh, it's coming. We said earlier 600,000 shares, 16, or shares, 16 million views of these medical doctors of 319 and 8317 were deleted by Facebook. Big tech is cooked in the squat. It's starting to unravel. Uh, there's nowhere to go. Remember blackout. Blackouts can be good. Blackouts can be good. Oz says, Wells Fargo is your worst enemy. I tell you, ask Mrs. His Glory uh, when the last mortgage I had who one of my worst enemies was. It was Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is the worst to deal with. And I told the story before the first financial meltdown. Come to find out, the, the executive that I was next to was number three at Wells Fargo. It was right across the street from Wells Fargo. And I remember I told the story. He came over. And it was the middle of August. We were there for a meeting. I think we had a meeting with Apple or something. Uh, and this guy came over, and he sat right next to me, and he's just sweating, just absolutely sweat, perverse, just sweating. He goes, it's all going to crash. It's all going to crash. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, we're selling mortgages to dogs and cats and birds and people. He says, there's going to be a mortgage crisis. It's just going to it's come crushing you down. And we were complicit. He was right. <laughs> Two months later, it happened. I remember telling my boss at the time, he goes, nah, that won't happen. He's just having a bad day. <laughs> It's going to be a bad day for Wells Fargo. The truth is coming out. It's going to be a bad day for Deutsche Bank as well. And many others, like BOA and your, con your connections to Black Lives Matter, people know. Be prepared for a severe, severe offense attack this week. That's what I was told. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. You can feel the intensity picking up, picking up. And if you didn't feel the intensity... Just watch this testif AG Barr testifying in uh, this, this clown show. You will feel the intensity. This is what it's all about. Um, Twitter even uh, censors Tim Tebow. You remember Tim Tebow? Uh, great. I'd love to have Tim Tebow on his glory as well. Tim Tebow was sharing a gospel message on Twitter, and Twitter censored him because it was sensitive material. Since when is sharing the gospel in the United States of America, on Twitter, sensitive material. That's why I think it's rigged. It's rigged. Some people are stupid, but you can't be that stupid. Jack can't be that stupid, can he? Uh, it's getting people's attention. Maybe that's what they want. Toronto Children's Hospital is going back, uh, says they need to go back to school without mask or social distancing. You're seeing more doctors say the same thing. This, the school system thing is hitting an all-time high. It's waking people up to say, you know what? 
Why haven't we never fought for this before? Why have we never fought for school choice? Why have we never fought for our kids to get a good education? Why have we been held hostage with our own taxpayer dollars with no choice? You get a choice of many things in America, but you don't get a choice of that. Uh, people are waking up to that. Again, there's lawyers out there that want to take on uh, this and more. Reach us at info at hisglory.me uh, because I have a feeling class action lawsuits are coming fast and furious. Um, Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem, they're assessing the uh, Hezbollah uh, launch in the next 48 hours. They believe that there is an imminent attack coming from Hezbollah up in Lebanon. Uh, very, very critical times in Israel. Remember, we always look to the nation of Israel, the city of Jerusalem, for end time prophecy. Speaking of Israel, uh, our, his, our His Glory Israel trip is right below us on His Glory TV. You can get the brochure, sign up. I have a call with them this week to see where we're at. I haven't checked in with them in a while. They've been shut down in, in Israel for, for a while. But join us on this trip. It will change your life. I guarantee it, it will be a game changer. My dad, who went with me, uh, still talks about it. Every time I talk to him, he goes, you know, that, that trip to Israel uh, was absolutely incredible. I want to go back. I want to go back. And once you're there, you want to go back again and again. There's something about Israel. Speaking of Israel, the old saying is the more they dig, the more they prove the Bible true. There was just another finding outside of the city of Jerusalem that goes back to some art, uh, some, some um, artifacts of King Hezekiah and his bad Oreo son uh, Manasseh, King Man uh, Manasseh. Remember Manasseh uh, sawed uh, Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah in two with a wooden saw. Uh, so that's talked about and it's alluded to in the book of Hebrews, uh, but in ancient Jewish books you can see that that is what Manasseh did uh, exactly. We're going to go over the quickly the, first, the 17 scandals recap because these scandals uh, which we brought to you three years ago that there would be, it was a prophetic word in uh, February of 2017, the greatest scandals in the history of the United States. That's what the Lord said. Uh, there are 17 of them that will be breaking and they're all starting to break at, to a certain extent as we speak. 9-11, 9-11 is not what you thought it was. Benghazi, we're starting to see Benghazi is not over. General Flynn has more uh, to shed on Benghazi. State Department and a pedophilia ring gets deep. It is the genesis of all the evil of the State Department. That's what President Trump called it, the deep state, uh, pun intended. Uh, Clinton scandals, not the Clinton Foundation, but Clinton scandals, plural, multiple, uh, that are being reviewed as we speak. Clinton Foundation, Uranium One, that's not over. Uh, and more with the Clinton Foundation. Fast and Furious, talk about an AG that was doing things unethical. Fast and Furious. Uh, guns ended up into the cartels, MS-13, to kill Americans. This is not over. Eric Holder is, uh, you need to know when to hold him and know when to fold him because the Trump card is coming. IRS scandal. IRS did more than just scan, uh, uh, spy on certain uh, Tea Party. Spygate, FISA, unmask. That was all one. We now can say that unequivocally that did indeed happen. Project Folsom. That was where the uh, you, you, United Kingdom spied on the president, uh, incoming president. Project Hammer, Uranium One. Uh, Uranium One is picking up more news with uh, Victoria Tenzing and her, her, her uh, client, William Campbell, about selling 20% of the uranium uh, through the Clinton Foundation. 145 million went to the Clinton Foundation, and that uranium went to Russia. Robert Mueller took a sample of it to Putin. And oh, by the way, that uranium Somehow, got to Iran and North Korea. You can't make this stuff up. Federal Reserve, gold back. We're getting closer. Actually, it's been done it's, as far as being public. Deep State, Illuminati. That, you couldn't even say the word Deep State two years ago. You couldn't. Oh, that's a conspiracy. You can't say the word Deep State. Don't say Deep State. Now everybody says Deep State. Uh, Reagan, JFK, uh, United Nations. We're starting to see the United Nations scandal come out. Uh, Catholic Church is going to be ugly. United Nations and Catholic Church, whew, these two are uh, really bad. Uh, and then you got the next ne Nexium, uh, Nexum and Epstein as number 17. And we see both of them coming out. Uh, next, uh, uh, Rainier, his sentencing comes up in September. So you're going to see more with Nexum in September time frame. And we're seeing more that's going to start coming out with Epstein. I am told September is gonna be one for the ages. 
Uh, so that's the 17 Scandals recap. We have to do that every couple of weeks just so that people know where we were and where we're at and what is coming. It is all opening up. Uh, POTUS about to announce two, two huge executive orders. I can't say what they are yet, uh, nor would I want to get ahead of it. One of them I'm not sure if he's said yet or not, so I can't say it until I confirm it. But there's two big ones, two big executive orders coming from the president. Important dates to look at. We'll, cl we'll close with that. Uh, we, we titled this called RICO. Uh, it was brought up in the AG's uh, test, test, testimony today. They were talking about RICO. You know, RICO, that's what Mayor Giuliani used the RICO uh, statue to take down the five uh, crime family. Uh, remember, President Trump was, uh, when he was a businessman, was a, uh, uh, he, he helped the FBI uh, bring down the, the, the five crime family in a RICO case. That's where Rudy Giuliani got his claim to fame. Uh, you're going to hear the term RICO a lot going forward, especially with a man named Durham. Uh, so the RICO is very much in play. Congressman claims that Barr uh, did not have any blacks on his staff and he should not bring up uh, Congressman Lewis at all. It was one of the most ugly pieces I've ever seen of hate. Just trashed A.G. Barr. A.G. Barr started out with something nice to, uh, about Congressman Lewis, whose funeral was yesterday, and he just tore into him because uh, he didn't have enough blacks, supposedly, on his, his staff. This is the hatred that we have now gotten into. Uh, A.G. Barr was also asked about mail-in votes could lead to fraud. He suggests they, will, they could lead to fraud. They tried to trick him into that, saying, hey, you yourself did an abstinence ballot at one time. He says there's a big dis difference between a wholesale ballots and absentees. If you are disabled and you can't make it, that's what an absentee ballot is for. But just to blankly say everybody gets to get a paper ballot. This, this, this congressman, uh, uh, congressman, that's all I'm going to say at this time, was badgering Barr so bad. He was bringing up the African-American community being affected by 319 more than any else. He was going to the place that it's racial uh, not to allow them to vote by paper ballots because it is affecting the, the African-American community more. These people will do nothing short of to, whatever they can do to steal the election. This is, not about, uh, this is not about 319. This is not about anything other than stealing the election because they know the hammer's coming. If they somehow can steal the election, as the question went to AJ, uh, AG Barr, and said, you know, that uh, if, if, if Durham does not report before the, 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 the election, uh, you'll have an AG Keith Ellison that will just sweep that under the rug. And AG Barr, very coy, said, I'm aware of that. Uh, they know he's, he's, he's aware of that. And that was exactly what ha it would happen. Uh, their only hope is to steal the election so that these, these crimes against humanity do come out. And bet the house that Durham is going to be coming, bringing those out before that happens. Um, they continued to go, go after Roger Stone. Roger Stone's name was brought up more than anybody else uh, today. All right, in closing, in closing, in closing, in closing, we are going to uh, talk about some important dates on the Hebrew calendar. Look at these dates. Keep these dates in mind. Uh, remember, two days from now will be the 9th of Av. Again, that is the, the sackcloth and ashes. That is the, the, the two days exactly that uh, the, the, the city of Jerusalem was captured by uh, the Babylonians and then the, uh, Nero uh, and the Romans. Exact day, 9th of Av. That's why it's uh, sackcloth and ashes. But Rosh Hashanah, uh, the, 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 the Feast of Shofars, is going to be is on September 18th this year. Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the, considered the holiest day in Judaism, the only day that the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies uh, for the unintentional sin of the nation of Israel. That's on September 27th. And then we have Sukkoth, the, the, the Feast of Booths, or the Feast of Tabernacles. That's on October 2nd, 2020. Always look to God's calendar. He always does something big around his Hebrew dates. Uh, so we look to that, and we continue to pray. This is about standing in the gap, standing up in prayer, and not sitting back and being complacent. We can't sit back. You can't sit on the fence. You can't, you can't be, a, it's not, a, it's a non, you have to participate. 
God wants us to participate. He wants us to walk hand in hand with him. We're not to walk ahead of him and we're not to walk behind him. We're supposed to walk hand in hand for his purpose and his glory. And we have to stand up. We have to stand up. This is a moment of truth because this is so big. It's not just the, 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 the entire <laughs> nation of America that's involved, literally. And you can't make that up. Who ever thought that America would fall? And this election, if, it, if, if, if we don't stand up, it, America will never be the same again. It's, it's a fact. Um, but also what this does, the most important thing about what this does is, is it opens up the, uh, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And that's what we want. We want the outpouring before our king comes. We want to get every single person to know the risen Christ. That's what this great outpouring is. And we're going to start seeing pockets of revival start to happen in the United States of America real soon. I have a feeling when we're in California, it's going to be a start of a big revival in California. Just got a feeling. And more, more uh, states as well. So we have to continue to pray. So we pray as we close this uh, Take 5 out today for Tuesday, uh, July 28th, the 7th of Av, uh, year 5780 on the Hebrew calendar. Uh, we pray for the discernment of our president, uh, not to listen to Jared Kushner, uh, get the right advice, Mr. President. Uh, we have conflicting information, whether he does. I was told he's not listening to Jared Kushner. Um, so let's pray that he's not. Uh, and he's getting the right advice and discernment and lifting him up in prayer. Also, all the white hats in his cabinet that have important uh, missions. We pray for our law enforcement. We pray for our military, foreign, domestic, above ground, or underground. And we pray last but not least for each and every one of you that you may be a light, because this is what it's all about. When it's go time and the lights come on, are you going to be ready to be that light to Jesus Christ? Are you gonna be that light from east to west, north to south? The light of Christ, that you will be that light for a family member, to a friend, or even a stranger. Go in his shalom, go in his peace. God bless you all, till next time.